So what we're gonna do now is to fly a drone and create some cinematic aerial shots for your video. Let's go! First things first, before flying a drone, you need to check the propellers of the drone and check its compass. So I have here my buddy Justin to demonstrate to you how to calibrate the compass of this aircraft. So we are done doing the establishing shots. Now, we will try to create a cinematic aerial shots with the subject. So later on, we'll be having our couple and uh, we're just gonna do some uh, post up and then we'll be doing it during sunset and see you there. So one thing that I do before I fly a drone is that I'm looking around on the place or on the location. Maybe I just do a scout first so that I try to look the place where I can fly my drone and create story interesting. Like over here in this place, I found some spot over there at the rooftop. Maybe maybe later we can use it with our with a couple and you know to create some uh, things or cinematic shots with the drone. And also you need to consider the place because you know um, logistic wise maybe um, there are tricks that you want to do but you can't because it might hit someone or well, well, as we can say, uh, as we always say, safety first on on having an aerial shot. And the thing of uh, a thing now is because it's really great to fly a drone at this moment because the wind is not that strong. As you can see, the leaves are not that you know harsh blowing. It's um, just like enough, enough, enough air, but it's not the worst. The, yeah, so it's a great time to fly a drone because that's the first thing that you want to do. Consider the wind first. Okay, so we're here now at our location, and as I can see, we have a lot of options that uh, are a lot of things to do in here because the place is beautiful. So I was thinking maybe I'll just put the because you have two uh, two sides. You can you have a nice background and a nice beach. So, yeah, I think I'm planning to put the bride over there later, um, over there, and I'll have her standing, and then the background, I'll this, and then the result will be my background. So, yeah, let's get it on. We'll just assemble the drone. So we'll try to assemble the drone like this. See, done. Checking that always check your batteries before flying, so I'm still full bar, full charge. As you can see, full charge, phone, remote. There, when flying drones, you need to have permits, or else this guy will shot my drone. <laughs> we'll fly the drone up. Before flying the drone, check your batteries, your GPS satellites, because we want, we don't want our drone uh, gone. So as of now, we have six. Maybe uh, later on, up in the sky, it will, you know, add up some more. Okay, now we got ten. You just need the shutter, and then before you fly the drone. Look around you if uh, there's an obstacle, understand the wind, if it's strong or not. Well, probably here in the island is a bit strong. So, I'll set this thing up. I don't have a spotter, so I turned on the, the all sides of the sensor of this drone. Because I don't want... So that the drone will give me information if I'll bump into something. So, okay, so let's move in here. I'm gonna direct the bride. Okay, so I'll have you here first. Then when I say go, maybe just like a few steps and then holding stroke and looking at those books. Okay? 
and now we're just gonna hide to uh, make sure that we, we do, we're not on the shot. Okay, facing there, you're gonna walk there on my go, right? Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go! And look at the middle! Okay, one more. Okay, I'll just do different take. Okay, okay, ready? Three, two, one, and go. Right, left. There you go, and look at the middle. Okay, last one, I'll just have my safety shot. Okay, so we're just creating layers. So the, the foreground is the bride and the background is the resort. Okay, three, two, one, and go. Hold it. And okay. Since this drone has a 20 millimeter camera, or a wide range of a uh, camera lens, I'm gonna use this one as a gimbal or hand stabilizer because I don't have my wide lens for me now. So I'll have my, uh, my assistant Justin to hold this remote so that I can see the view or, or what's going on on my frame. So Justin, we're gonna do just a simple push in. Three, two, one, and go. And cut. Okay, one more. Okay, a couple. I need you to step one more step back. There you go. Okay. Three, two, one, and go. And cut. And we got our shot. So now we're just gonna do our shot here at the rooftop because as you can see, the sunset is okay. Our uh, couple is standing right there. So we're just gonna do some couple, uh, maybe a um, couple of um, following shots for, uh, with our drone here. So let me check, we're turning it on. Okay, perfect. So the wind now is not so strong, so it's really safe to fly. But be careful on flying on this kind of situation because there's a lot of trees. There's a lot of things that we need to consider in flying. Okay. Justin, ready? Firing it up. We'll plan our shot first so that we can save time. At this point, our drone is, uh, the obstacle avoidance is open. So that's why it's, it keeps on beeping but but if the obs um, if the obstacle avoidance is on I can't do my shot because I can't really go into uh, into place I can't there so in order to do my shot I need to shut it off because there's sometimes pros and cons of the obstacle avoidance so disabling it first Okay, there you go. Okay, so what I'm planning to do is have a reveal shot. Okay, ready? Okay, three, two, one, and go. Three, two, one, go. Okay, ready? Hold it. When I say go, face us closer. Ready? One, two, three, go. And we have our ending shot. Okay, last one. This time, we're going to do a reveal shot. We're going to reveal shot. Okay, one more. Ready? Three, two, one, and go, lapet. And kiss. And four heads closer. 
All right, thank you. Okay, this time, guys, I'm going to get this sunset shot. So we'll just, you know, we'll try to do, um, uh, when you do a shot, you need to try to create a um, layers of it. So you have the foreground, the subject, and then the background. So on this setup, our foreground will be the street, and then the subject will be the beach, and then the background will be the nice sunset. Okay, so I'll have Justin here touch the drone. Well, you can do it by yourself, but you know, I want to be safe, more safer. And that's it. That's how you do a cinematic aerial shot on weddings. Thank you for watching.